Good afternoon, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and today I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2011 model Nissan X-Trail TI Wagon. Starting at the front of the car, you know, it's fitted with the genuine nudge bar. We've also got the uh, factory smoked bonnet protector there as well. High intensity discharge headlights, uh, therefore the need for headlight washers. We do have daytime running lamps as well. And then our driving lights right down in the bottom of the front bumper bar. Important to have a look at the quality of the front of the car. Not a mark on the bonnet and fairly well the same as we come around to the driver's side now. Finished in a really nice pearl white colour. Um, presents really well for 2011. We've got factory 18 inch alloy wheels and look at the tread on the tyres. Basically brand new tyres all round on this car. Uh, colour coded outer door mirrors. We've got the distinctive chrome outer door handles. Um, uh, they are proximity keys, so we can lock and unlock the car just by pushing on the little button on our outer door handle. Um, as you can see, even all the way down towards the rear of the car, um, really hard to actually pick any marks on this car at all. It does have privacy glass on our rear windows. Uh, the rear alloy wheel, same, unmarked alloy. Um, as I said, tyres, basically brand new. As we come around to the rear of the car, a few things to highlight here. Um, we do have a, a factory towing, uh, factory tow pack, so it will give us the ability to tow two tonnes. Um, all of our distinctive chrome badging through the tailgate as well. Um, also a high mount stop light on our, our rear tailgate there as well. Really distinctive um, tail lights on the X-Trail as well. Um, they stand out at a good height. Uh, now as we come down around the passenger side, uh, once again the consistency of the exterior is spot on. Um, you, you know, as I said earlier with the rest of the car, extremely hard to find any blemishes on this car. Um, so credit to the people that have owned it previously, really well maintained. The only other thing to point out, which we'll chat about further later, is also fitted with a factory sunroof as well. Back around to the front of the X-Trail now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the, um, the drivetrain in this car. Um, basically, we'll grab our bonnet, bonnet rod, just uh, tuck that into position, and the bonnet's right up well out of our way. <coughs> just a four-cylinder motor in the X-Trail, um, 2.5 litre, going to give you 125 kilowatts of power, 226 newton metres of torque, um, but at the same time, Delibia 9.1 litres combined per 100 k, so really good economy. As Back well. around to the rear of the X-Trail now, we'll have a little bit of a look in the rear of the car. Um, once again, uh, the interior you're going to see um, in the next part of the video, as consistent as the exterior, in really good condition. Previous owner bought the uh, genuine uh, protective mat, the carpet mat that goes on top of our storage area. We've got a couple of drawers here as well. Good storage area there. So, you know, a really well thought out design. We've got our cargo blind here as well. Just lock it into position to protect all our cargo that's stored in there. Um, if you don't want anyone to look into the car and see it. There are also plastic extensions at the front of the cargo blind, which we just clip onto the back of our headrests. So everything is completely obscured. In the event that we want to store additional uh, cargo, we can just drop our two second row seats down as well. So we're inside the X-Trail now, and once again, uh, same quality. Uh, on our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches, and right up the front there is a small knob to adjust our exterior mirrors. In front of that, a button to turn our driving lights on, and a manual button to turn traction control off if you wish. Our steering wheel is height and reach adjustable, so set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy, just lock that into position and away we go. Uh, we do have auto headlights and auto wipers in the uh, TI, so our headlights will come on automatically. Our wipers, they'll detect water and uh, turn themselves on as well. On our steering wheel, um, all of our cruise control settings there, and then on our left hand side, all of our audio settings here. Uh, moving into the centre section, uh, we've got quite a good storage compartment in there. And then we do have an aftermarket navigation unit fitted. Does also incorporate a reverse camera, which uh, we get really good clarity in the picture behind us. Um, so uh, all of the uh, functions in that multi-function head unit. Uh, climate control air conditioning directly below that. Uh, 
small storage compartment just in there as well with a little uh, auxiliary cord. And then down below that, we've got a 12 volt outlet there. We've got our knob to engage our four wheel drive just in the middle there. And once again, being the TI, top of the range, so you've got heated front seats and downhill descent control as well. Can drive it as an automatic, can also drive it in manual mode. It's just a matter of flicking it across to there, which enables us to change gears. As you can see, up and down, just by using the lever. Uh, directly behind that, our handbrake, a couple of good cup holders there. A large storage compartment, well, it's not that large, but a storage compartment in there as well. And then as we scan around the interior, really good quality seats. The door trim's virtually unmarked. Both passenger and driver have cup holders up above their air conditioning vents. Um, so they're, they're quite easily accessible. Um, also, uh, just uh, as far as uh, the interior goes, the TI's got leather throughout. So um, all through the interior, uh, the carpets are good. Uh, does have six airbags, front side curtain airbags, so four star ANCAP safety rating. Um, the other thing, as we mentioned earlier, which we'll scan around to it in a moment, we do have the extremely large sunroof as well, which is automatic in its opening operation. And as you can see, quite a large, large opening uh, when we've got that completely open. Uh, if we don't want the wind blowing into the car, we can just close it back. You notice the actual cover itself stays open, so it does allow light into the car. In the event it's too sunny and you don't want all the light streaming in, simple matter of just sliding our cover back to the closed position. Last thing to touch on while we're inside the car is the service history. Um, quite good service history, privately owned car. Services were done, I've had a good look at them earlier. Done pretty much every 15,000 kilometres. Um, so you flick through the books and, and pretty much at every 15 to, to 18 K interval uh, they've been carried out. Still don't understand Nissan service books. I've got 20 million pages and you don't use them. Um, but as I say, consistent servicing all the way through, um, which uh, obviously shows you why the car presents with such good quality. So just a few key points in summary. 125 kilowatts of power in a 2.5 litre four cylinder motor, 226 newton metres of torque, all the while giving you a really good fuel economy of 9.1 litres combined per 100 k's. Really impressive example of a TIX trail. Uh, hope this has given you a really good idea of the quality of our car and feel free to give us a call on 9907055 for any further help.